the casualties came with fresh protests erupted on Friday over U.S. President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital last week. Most of the casualties were on the Gaza Strip border, where thousands of Palestinians hurled rocks at Israeli soldiers beyond the fortified fence. Doctors said two protesters, one of them Wirral Chairbound, were killed and 150 wounded. In the occupied West Bank, another area where Palestinians are seeking statehood along with adjacent East Jerusalem, doctors said two protesters were killed and 10 wounded by Israeli gunfire. One of the dead was a man who Israeli police troopers said was shot after he stabbed a member of their unit. Witnesses said the Palestinian had a knife and wore what looked like a bomb belt. A Palestinian doctor who helped evacuate the man for treatment said the belt was fake. Palestinians, and the wider Arab and Muslim world, were incensed at Trump's announcement on December the 6th, which reversed decades of U.S. policy reticence on Jerusalem, a city where both Israel and the Palestinians want sovereignty. The Israeli military said that, on Friday, about 3,500 Palestinians demonstrated near the Gaza border fence, during the violent riot by the air, Israel's defense force, soldiers fired selectively towards main instigators, the military said in a statement. In the West Bank, the Israeli military said that about 2,500 Palestinians took part in throwing firebombs and rocks at soldiers and border police.